What's good, everybody? It's your boy Devin Farrell here on Atlanta United Fan TV with another Transfer Daily. Let's get right to it. So uh, today's going to be all about rumors because there's not really anything solid. So uh, first on the docket, we're going to go with the Miguel Almarone. We've been beating this drum to death. I swear to God, it's starting to really wear on me. But um, <laughs> no real update. He's uh, nothing really new from Newcastle, although there was reports in the Chronicle that that bid is pretty much dead. The Newcastle Chronicle, that is. Um, you know, because Mike Ashley's not going to stump up the extra money and Atlanta United does not feel forced to sell uh, at a reduced rate. So basically, what does that mean? Does Miguel stick around? I don't know. His agent, Daniel Campos, was said to be in Serie A, looking at the likes of Napoli, possibly a uh, another club, a mystery club mentioned in there. But when it comes down to hard, solid news on, on Miguel Amaron, there just really isn't any. There's, there's a whole lot of speculation and a whole lot of hearsay. So um, window's still open for another couple of days, but it's getting to be crunch time. Uh, next up on the news today, um, it was mentioned that um, one of those Argentinian clubs, Boca Juniors, has been in for one of our players <laughs> and a player that we really can't lose in Franco Escobar. It was said that Boca Juniors made an inquiry for Franco Escobar and were told quickly that uh, the cost for his services would be somewhere around $5 million. So uh, that's a lot of money to an Argentinian club in the middle of a little bit of a monetary crisis right now in that country. I know that they've sold a lot of players, but get back to me when they've sold Christian Pavon and actually have some money that's not going towards, you know, keeping the lights on and making sure that, you know, the club uh, staff gets their paychecks. So um, I don't really think that one's going to go down, but uh, supposedly that was a real inquiry for Franco Escobar. We have no depth at right back, so um, not 100% sure why we would make that move, especially this close to the season and the Champions League and Champions Cup and all those other things that we have to do. I think Franco Escobar, especially as hot as he was in the uh, in the playoffs, is going to be a, ma a major player for Atlanta United this season. So, sorry, my hair's going crazy. Um, anyways, I, I, I do not put a whole lot of credence behind that rumor, so when it comes to Franco Escobar going to Boca, I don't really see it now. Another uh, transfer rumor involving uh, Boca Juniors in Argentina. Um, this one even more difficult to believe because it involves a guy that uh, could be a future captain for Atlanta United, and that's Leandro Gonzalez Perez. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Boca Juniors is supposedly interested in the lifelong River Plate fan uh, and academy product, Leandro Gonzalez Perez, currently serving as center back for Atlanta United. I don't want to see him go. Um, He's on a lot of money for an MLS player, uh, but you know, so maybe he could get more there. Maybe it's a, a ploy by his agent. But supposedly, according to Doug Roberson in the AJC, the interest is real, and you know, LGP even said that he would take on the challenge. You know, were that to be something that that came to fruition, I really hope it doesn't because he's a center back in MLS that that can wreck shop. I mean, we all saw how how integral he was to our championship run here. So. Um, let's hope that that one doesn't go down. But uh, LGP to Boca, lifelong River fan, River Plate Academy, playing for Boca Juniors. <sighs> Again, another situation where that's going to cost you a lot of money. And where is this money coming from if Boca don't sell Christian Pavon? I, I just don't know if that's something that's going to go down. So, you know, now were that to go down, Atlanta United would have gaping holes at center back and right back and you know, I guess that's where you start looking at names like, you know, like, can we swing a deal for Ike Opara or, you know, I don't even really want to think about that. So to recap, and I'm going to ask my girl Cardi B to help me out here. Does Miguel Almiron go to Newcastle? No. Does Franco Escobar go to uh, Boca Juniors? No. And does LGP join him at Boca Juniors? No. It ain't happening. Anyways, if anything else goes down, I'll be sure to check back in. It's your boy, Devin For Real, so make sure that you like, share, subscribe, comment, tell a friend. We still got that PT Martinez hat going on. Make sure that you uh, tag a friend and you know you, you get your entries to try to win that signed PT Martinez hat um, that I got signed during PT Watch. So uh, very much appreciate your watches and your comments. Leave a comment below. I'll try to comment right back to you. It's your boy, Devin For Real, for Transfer Daily on Atlanta United Fan TV. If anything else goes down, I'll check back in. If not, I'll catch you tomorrow.